Hey, I'm uh, Serge, I live in Antwerp and you've probably seen videos from last year and the uh, years before uh, when I travel most of the times to Universal Studios. Um, but for this year, uh, 2021, uh, which is almost finished, I've decided as soon as the crisis is finished, I want to leave Belgium for a much longer time than just a two weeks vacation. What I want to do in these videos, next coming um, uh, when I start my travel in September, is be more active in my video, trying to explain everything, where I am, where I'm going, what I'm going to do, how it works, um, how my experience is, because in my recent videos, I usually take shots, um, cut them, then paste them, um, do some editing and then post them on YouTube with some um, music on top. Now I want to speak, uh, be more active in my videos and I hope you uh, viewers are gonna like this a lot more than my previous videos. There were okay, uh, people were watching, but um, I want more viewers. Um, I think it's worth watching, so maybe if I'm be more active in my videos, it might be a better reason to keep watching. So um, to start with, I'm Serge. I'm born in and no, I'm lying. I'm born in Bruges, uh, but I live in Antwerp uh, since 12 years now. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, I have a last years. I had a few businesses I've done, and at the same time, um, I was able to save money. And now I decided to give up my apartment and I want to leave Antwerp for at least three to six months, maybe nine to a year, depending on how everything uh, evaluates during time. Why is the name of this channel Lost Travelers? Well, I'm probably not the only one, so that's why it's Travelers, but Lost, it's actually more or less like um, I've been traveling so many countries. I've been to um, Brazil, I've been to Cuba, I've been to um, Egypt, I've been to Turkey, to England, to France, to Germany, to Holland, to Italy, to Sweden, to Czechoslovakia, I mean Czechia and Slovakia, because now they're two separate countries. Um, and I have like, nothing to document because back then I thought it's all going to be in the mind but actually when you watch your own photos years later you realize how much you forget so I think this is a much better way to um, save the memories of my travels by making videos and putting them on YouTube especially for myself and when I'm dead for the rest of my family and anyone else that likes to watch, well, go ahead and watch my videos. I am usually very shy uh, in public to um, talk to a camera or even uh, take pictures, because as soon as I see people staring at me, although they probably don't do it um, just to stare at me, but just, you know, their eyes passing me, um, I'm, it's scary for me to take pictures or um, take videos. But actually, I like to make videos and uh, take pictures. So from now on, I'm going to try not to care that much anymore and trying to get used to talk to a camera. Actually, what gave me the courage to start um, making videos and taking pictures is um, from my travels. I post them on Google Maps, my photos, and they've been viewed more than 1.5 million times. So that's quite impressive for me. So um, yeah, that's one of the other reasons why I uh, want to post uh, videos on YouTube. Actually, two years ago, um, it's two years ago now, in 2018, 2019, 2018, I traveled with my niece, Amber, uh, to Florida, and we've been to Universal Studios, Walt Disney World, uh, Volcano Bay, we've seen Madame Tussauds, and we had so much fun, we made a vlog 
which you can see on my channel. Um, this is like the beginning. I like to edit videos, but I have no talent at all. Uh, I just try and see what happens. Um, I'm 53 and my father died a few months ago because of... So um, I thought like, this is now the time that I have to start traveling as much as possible and see what countries I can visit in <clears throat> the rest of my time. You probably want to know what I did for a living. Well, it's a little hard to explain, but I used to be restaurant manager, hotel manager. But the last few years, I was um, uh, working on my own. And what I did was evaluating restaurants, hotels and cafes and bars. Uh, but not to criticize, because many people think that what I did was like criticizing restaurants and uh, hotels. But that's not the point. The point is that I come over to with the owners of the restaurants and the hotels to talk about their business and how they can make it better and make more money. So it was quite successful, but because here in Belgium, because of the crisis, uh, all restaurants and cafes had to close down. So my business dropped like 100%. And now we are one year, more than one year. I think it's already like 18 months further and still I'm not making any business at all because of obviously um, this is like one of the first things that uh, companies probably want to save money by not um, evaluating their restaurants and their cafes because they don't have the money at this moment to do this um, so I hope maybe when I come back to Belgium after I'm not sure yet, three months, six months, nine months, a year, if I come back, that everything will be much better and for me much easier to get my job back. Yeah, so uh, now that you know a little bit about me, um, maybe I can show you a little bit around in the apartment so that you know how I live and maybe later in the future, you are probably gonna see like the differences in how I live in Panama or how I travel because um, people think that, I mean my friends, uh, they usually think that I spend a lot of money on hotels and um, uh, fancy restaurants, but that's not the case. It really depends on my purpose of that travel. I mean, I've been to Dubai and of course, if you go to Dubai, you don't go, in my opinion, you don't go low budget, you go high budget. But that's like the only um, holiday where I spend, in my case, for my, uh, for my, the way I make my money, a lot of money. So yeah, okay, so this is my apartment. Um, let's have a look around. Television is playing. Uh, yes, this is my um, suitcase, ready to leave and a little bit packed already. And this is my, um, how do you say, um, video camera backpack for the GoPro and other cameras. Um, this is my uh, workstation. Uh, let's call it workstation, yeah. Um, this is the laptop that I'm going to take with me. It's a very old um, Apple um, MacBook Pro. Um, this is my kitchen. There's not much, it's a small kitchen as you can see. These are the stuff that's in here. I like coffee, as you can see. These are like the best that you can have. Some souvenirs about my travel. And yeah, so much more about my travels. As you can see, the Atlantis, I've been to Dubai. I've been on the Burj Khalifa. I've been to we, W. I mean, I always say we, I don't know why. It means W in English. Uh, w Barcelona. I'm a big fan of the W hotels. I've been in a few like in Korea. I've been in um, one in London and I think one more but I can't remember and I'm probably gonna visit uh, the one in uh, Panama as well. So yeah, uh, these are my things. Then this is my personal bedroom. 
So this is my bed, nothing special. This is my bed table. It's a, a box where you can uh, keep your uh, <laughs> cold and fresh fish in or whatever. I have an iPad. Um, yeah, these are my clothes. Um, then this is my stuff. Uh, this is also for traveling, for taking with me, I mean. So nothing very special. This is my bathroom. As you can see, I love a lot of different soaps. Nothing special for the rest. This is my mirror. You saw me a little bit. Okay, this is the stuff I'm using. Creams and whatever. And this is the big double bedroom. A few seats, a uh, co coffee table and for tea. This is actually for my guests when people stay over, then they can use this bedroom. Uh, and then here you can see some more stuff for them to keep with them. They have a cooler ventilator, they call it. Yes. So that's it. Uh, that's my apartment. My apartment. That's my apartment. Um, it's not much, it's small, uh, but I love it and it's very expensive when you live um, in the center of the city. So yeah, that's uh, this for this video. Um, uh, next week there's going to be another one, of course. Um, and then we're going to talk uh, more about my financial situation. Uh, how much money I have, how much, how much money I'm going to take with me, what I've already booked and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, please subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when my video is going to be launched uh, next week. And for now, bye.